uh, the wind screen protector or whatever it's called is off. In this episode we're going to take a look at how we've gone about fixing it. Okay, in this episode we're, we're going to look at replacing, fixing this apron or at least getting it off and having a look at how bad it is. So we'll start with the wipers. Um, I've put some lubricating oil and a couple of screws in there which are jammed solid and then we'll see. Okay, so the wipers just came off easily enough and the nut over there came off but this one I can't budge. And it's one of those irritating CR7 ones. So this is a three quarter inch, which doesn't quite fit. Uh, sorry, so it's not the three quarter, so 15 sixteenths or 13 sixteenths doesn't quite fit. And the next one up, which is um, seven eighths, is way too big. Um, so it's a 22 mil. Um, and I don't know how to, and I don't have a 22 mil, which is either a spanner or a um, deep socket. Um, so I've been trying with a, an adjustable one, but it's just slipping and I'm damaging it. So I'm not going to do that for much longer. I'm going to have a little break and think. And then the other problem is here. Um, both sides, these screws are just rusted solid in there, so um, I mean, I think this would probably just break around it given the state of it. Um, in fact, you can see when I push it. So, um, yeah, um, so starting out as it means to go on with me by the look of it. So I know I said we were going to deal with this today, or next, but this bolt here I just can't get to budge and I've tried hammering a uh, whatever the closest slightly smaller imperial socket was over it to get a grip and it just wasn't doing anything. Um, it, it would just spin off and I'm beginning, I've started damaging it quite badly so I'm now a bit worried. So I have ordered um, some deeper socket, deep deeper sockets uh, in metric, and they should be arriving Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, this over here, you can see. There we go. You can see. I think that. Um, I think that's just broken through now. Um, not quite sure, but I think it has. And the other side is just rusted solid. I have got the the driver side um, washer, their uh, wiper motor out though, so this one's still fixed in, but that should all slide out soon. So, given I can't work on that, um, I'm going to work on something else. And I was having trouble getting this off. I've now got much better access to the steering column, so actually we're going to try to take the steering column out. Okay, well that, that came out quite easily in the end. Um, I managed to get it off there, off the um, steering rack first using a bit of a crowbar um, and so I've stored it up here out of the way. Um, so I haven't bothered clean it or anything at this stage, we'll deal with that later, I'm just getting it off for now. And have a little think about the next thing. Now, um, someone, I think it was Ian, suggested um, I might want a rotisserie. Now, it's been suggested before and I've always said no because of space. But his point is, if I had a rotisserie in here, then I could turn the TR7 like that, so, or like that. Um, so that um, actually it's it's taken up less width in the garage. Now my concern is around being able to keep my workbench. And as we can see, there's not really a lot of room either at the back 
or at the front. But there might actually be enough that should I have one on there, I'd be able to wheel it um, out of the way and keep it off to the side a bit more. Um, I'm not sure how much I would save. And it's a thought. So I'm, I'm having to think about that. But I haven't decided at this point. And so in this um, episode of just doing stuff, because I can't, I'm not progressing with the bit I want to do, I don't know what I'm going to do next. My new metric sockets arrived today. And um, they go on. I've already tried them and they slipped as well and so now it's completely rounded off. Um, I also then went to see if I could buy something for this in terms of, you know, if I cut this off, um, can I get a new um, uh, actuate, well, whatever this bit's called. Uh, and apparently the aftermarket ones are left-hand threads, so I wondered if this had been a left-hand thread and tried going the other way and completely rounded it off. So it went from some edge to none at all now. So um, we're going to get a hacksaw out and try to cut that off. I can't think of any other way of doing it. Um, we'll try to cut off the nut by itself. If we can't, we'll just go through the whole lot. Right, well, we're just going to have to cut the whole thing off because I've um, <laughs> taken into the thread there. Um, so we'll just cut it off now. And it's out. Into it. So you can see now just how... Ooh, ouch. How much I just cut that off. So we'll take that out. And then we'll come back and see if we can... Um, get this all off. Um, I still got these screws in there which are preventing it but then we can have a look at how bad this is. Okay well we've got it all off. Um, just at this end here the, um, the plastic bit came out with the rusted on screw. Um, so that's still on here. Okay. On the other side I couldn't budge it and I drilled off the head. So I'm going to have problems at both ends with that. Um, so we'll just blow some of this rust out and see what this looks like. Um... <clears throat> And this itself, oh, I don't know if this is even worth trying to save, to be honest. I'll have a look at how much it costs, if it's available. But we can see it's, um, it's really bad here, I mean really bad here. Uh, it's, it's actually... That feels quite thick still, even though it's rusted underneath. Uh, it's bubbly around here again, but quite solid. Ah, maybe it's just, actually it's just these two bits. So actually, maybe we will see what we can do about fixing that. Uh, first, I'm going to get the air on this and just blow some of this rust out of the way. And um, then have a better look in here. Okay, so both of the um, edges of this are pretty poor. They're both. Um, this one looks slightly worse, but I think as soon as you start picking at the other side, it's going to be the same. So, on both of these, we're going to have to cut into this, fit a new piece along here, and then cut around here and fit a new piece along there. Um, and we'll have to clean out underneath whilst we're doing that. Not going to do that until the windscreen's out so that we don't damage the windscreen. 
so we're not going to worry about that on either side yet we're just going to um, look at this so I'm going to start now by trying to clean this off okay I've done a little bit of cleaning in here and actually it's as, as it always is and I do like to stay optimistic but you can see I mean I'm gonna have to, I'd have to replace all of this all of this all of this okay and oh, just getting it in view and this bit as well so it's quite substantial to say the least and you know even looking at it from this side when you turn it over it looks even worse really because um, if you start looking at where it's pitted okay you know you're replacing all the way from here to here uh, you've got pitting down here it's pitted from here all the way over to here and then it fades into this big hole as well so all the way to there so you've got about an inch here which you can save and then it's pitted from here to this edge so you know actually um, we're looking at replacing more than we're keeping so I think um, I'm gonna have a look at the cost of a replacement because tonight I'm thinking oh I think I'll spend the money um, I think we'll have a look at the cost of a replacement right now and make a decision from there so we, we can't buy this piece any longer not new anyway um, you can try getting a second hand piece um, but what kind of condition they'll be in I don't know so we're going to have to try to fabricate something now um, my natural inclination here is thinking oh it's just straight or just you know straight piece of metal along here but actually you can see here that this metal isn't straight this will generate a curve on the paper if I try to um, do a straight piece so I actually need a curved bit of metal and I need a curved bit for here that's fine um, and ideally I want a bit that comes all the way down and does this in, all in one go but I've then got to fold in a curve and I can't think how to do that at the moment um, and by the time anyone sees this I'll have already done it so it'll be too late um, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this and I'm just thinking about it so what I've done here today is I've tried I cut two separate pieces out one and two and I've welded those in okay um, obviously needs cleaning up a lot there's still some spot holes in there or plug holes or whatever pin holes um, now the next thing I've got to do is I've got to work out how I well, the strip along here to keep them the right distance apart. Um, and I've also, I mean, I've got a bit of an overlap in them, so, so you can see at the back. So I think what I want to do is I want to cut along this overlap so that they're more or less at the same. Um, and then stick a piece of metal through them. I'm working this out as I say it, but if I, if I, yeah, if I, um, if I get them the same, if I cut along here, okay, so that actually I have a, a, a gap, the width of a piece of metal. Yeah, if I cut along here, have a gap for the width of a piece of metal. I can then vertically stick a piece in here and weld it on um, probably both of them I could do from the back but whatever and then cut it off to this height 
Right, so I think that's what I'm going to try, uh, but not today. Okay, so we've made some progress. Um, this, I mean, this is just having done this. This now feels a lot stronger. Okay, um, obviously I need to put the wiper hole in. It's a hole here for the, um, as per this side for the wiper, but I'll work that out afterwards. Um, tomorrow I'll come back out and I'll try to put that strip in and continue moving along here. Right, it's so the next day. I mean, I've spent um, probably two hours on this edge bit and then grinding. And I know it's still not perfect. But um, I think with filler, then that should actually look okay there now. Uh, I might need to grind it down a bit further on the back. Um, but um, I've had enough of it. Whether I'll come back and do a bit more, I don't know. But I've had enough of it for today. So um, that's taken a long time. But that was probably the hardest bit. Actually, that bit there is going to be as hard, probably. It's just not as big. Um, but we've made some progress. So we're just going to move a bit further along now. We'll take pick up that little bit in the middle there. And we might try to do this by folding it rather than... how we did the previous piece simply because um, it's just it's just taken me so long but really I need um, something that would enable me to fold a um, curved bit or to curve a folded bit if you know what I mean and I need a stretcher or shrinker whichever one it is for that so this is the next bit I'm trying um, this is actually just a straight piece. Um, it's short enough that I, the curve seems okay, so that's okay. I'm trying a slightly different approach because I've struggled with my butt welding so much. I'm going to have to butt weld around here, and I've cut the, the edges a bit too big. But I've joggled it. I used my joggler to to um, lay it underneath, and so all of this here. There's metal on, on the other side still as well. Um, so that does leave a little bit of a lip, um, but I think with a bit of, you know, weld it up for, and then it would be a skim of filler across there, I think we'll be okay. Um, and I think I'll just have to use a bit of brass behind this to weld that up nicely. But that's what I'm going to do here and see what it comes out, see how much easier or harder it is. Um, but that's the progress on that bit so far. So we're moving along and I decided to use lap welds here as well. Didn't do quite such a good job in this corner but should be okay. And we'll just slowly continue working along and then we'll come back and apply the filler and we'll see what we can make it look like by the end of the episode. Okay, I'm continuing to work along see I've done this section here now I've just got this bit over in the right to do um, my concern is I'm not sure if it's good enough and the issue is where I've done these bits here so that's okay here yeah, where I've done these bits here both here and here um, what I seem to have done is shrunk it up a bit and so if you look at it now along here, you can see how it's bulging out, particularly in the middle. Whereas that far side is, well, anyway, and whereas before it was all, you know, quite nice and um, tight to the screen. So, um, and I mean, I guess I got to work out what I could do about that. So I could, I could, um, bung in a relief cut and push it in um, I'm not sure if it will work or I'm going to have to try to find a second hand one <sighs> hmm. so I just bolted it in place with a couple of bolts as you can see 
Um, and I think with um, with the bolts at the end, that will help pull it down on the sides a bit. We can see this will go down a bit more. Okay, so I think I think that'll be okay. Um, obviously, this bit needs fixing. It is quite badly bent out of shape still. So, so this needs a bit of work. We've got a bit of a lift here in the middle, and then the other side seems to fall off as well. Um, but again, you can see here we've got quite a gap. So if we can just push that down, um, that's going to help bring it in a bit. So I'm going to end up with this bit here, which is up. And I think it must be when I've done these bits here, which have pulled it down a bit, it's because I didn't get quite enough curve on this. It was too flat in both cases, and that's what's caused it to to shrink. Um, now, so if that's the case, then actually this isn't too high, it's this that's too low. Because a bit more metal in here would pull this out further. And the same here, okay? Um, so if that's the case, then, then the solution... I think might be a relief cut, bang it out, a relief cut, bang it out and get the shape. So I'm going to have a think about that. Um, whilst I'm thinking about that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this side. In fact, what I think I'm going to do, and we'll see when I get to the end of it, is I'm going to finish off this side and this bit so that at least I have metal the whole way along, even if it's not particularly perfect. And then I think I'm going to post the video and ask for thoughts about how to pull that out and try to get the shape back, or if I should give up and try to find a second-hand piece. Okay, so there we have it. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, I've done the whole lot now. Let's take this a bit higher. And um, the... The gap now is actually pretty even. Um, so what I ended up doing is I just took a great big hammer and whacked at the bits that were too far in to pull them out a bit. Um, so it might need a bit more of that, but it's it's come um, it's come along. So next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply filler to this um, to try to get it look nice. Um, across there and um, put some undercoat on it or primer having done that making sure I'm happy with it then I'm going to take that and the windscreen out and clean off the windscreen and put it away so um, this has been rather a longer I think episode I don't know I haven't timed any of the bits yet but I think it's going to turn out to be quite long um, and it's certainly taken me longer than I expected that was a lot more work than I had realised in there and I guess I, I must have replaced about 50% of the metal you know in one place or another so um, and that was quite difficult but but um, I'm happy with that than I was halfway through and I know it's not perfect but I think probably okay. <laughs>